Hey, it's Phil Torres from The Jungle Diaries. Okay, so many of you have probably seen that movie, Arachnophobia. Now, I single-handedly hold that movie responsible for making me, potentially millions of other people around the world, so afraid of spiders. But since then, I've had a complete change of heart. So I've been in Ecuador this last week on an expedition, seeing all sorts of crazy things, but I haven't seen any spiders the entire time. After working in the Amazon for a couple years, I saw all these amazing spiders, and now I love them. I study them for my research, and I even think baby spiders are about as cute as puppies. And that's why we're here. We're about to meet the man behind the spiders in arachnophobia. And I mean, he literally stood behind them. He was the one that spider wrangled on that movie. Let's go meet Jules Sylvester because I have a bit of a bone to pick with him. Yo! Yo! Hey, Jules. Hey, what's up? Come on in, man. How are you doing? What do you think? Uh, I feel like I'm surrounded by spiders and snakes right now. Is that about right? Yeah, this is my heaven. My job is to supply very, very nasty things, creepy crawly things to the movies. I did all the big spiders on arachnophobia. The Goliath bird-eating spider, the one that jumps into the lens, the ones that crawls into the coffin and sucks with blood dry. I'm not gonna lie, I jumped in that movie. <laughs> I think that was two decades of my life that I'm holding you responsible for yeah, making I... me afraid of spiders. And I missed out on all this amazing time just hanging out. I love spiders now. I want to offer you a chance at redemption. Yes! Okay. Because I've been so afraid of spiders and there's so many other people afraid of spiders. Yeah. I think this is your chance to get all those spiders to forgive you for making <laughs> people afraid of them. Let's do a top five reasons why people should love spiders. Coming in at number five, the regular spider. They take care of the diseases. The mosquito, the Zika virus, cockroaches, all the other nasty creatures you don't want, he'll take control of that. Thank you, spider. Don't spray, use a spider. Coming in at number four, spiders are cooler than Spider-Man. They can actually use their silk to fly into the air, to throw nets at their prey, and even to build a bigger version of themselves from scratch. Isn't that right? Number three, there are 35,000 different species of spiders worldwide. We have one which looks like bird poop, another one makes webs. There's even one with a happy face. And then we have this one. The California Tarantula. Coming in at number two, spiders have some crazy, amazing behavior. Some spider mothers carry all their spider babies on their back. Some males actually have to dance to win a mate. And some spiders can even walk on water. Was there, was there something on me? Am I good? Okay, yeah, just making sure. And coming in at number one, the one reason why you should love spiders, they're everywhere. Every day of your life, you've been within yards of a spider. Isn't that right, Phil? That is right. You know, <laughs> people don't realize that everywhere around you, whether you're in your home or walking on a trail or in the park, there are spiders everywhere. And you could either stop and appreciate them for what they are, or you could continue living in fear. And I was, I thankfully got over spiders. No thanks to you, but um, what are you? Nothing, no, we're good. Okay, <laughs> just, just making sure. After going through these reasons, I think there are spiders out there that are just saying, you know what, Jules, you're forgiven. You can scare people, but you can still educate them. Good idea. Come in and meet your childhood fear. This is what started the whole thing. Oh my goodness. For a start, that is Big Bob, the original yeah. Big Bob from Arachnophobia. This is it. That is incredible. Look. That is a big spider. This is face size spider right here. <laughs> can I say, that is a giant spider, but that's a, that's a good looking spider right there. That's a fantastic spider, isn't now, it? Now, I understand this is one of the ones you get to perform, you yeah, can say. Yeah. How do you, could you show me how it's done? But that's a warning. And that's pretty obvious to everybody. If you go any closer than that, I will bite you. Oh. And uh, you can see the fangs underneath there. I'm sticking close. Hang on. Now, maybe you have to do this a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy Look at that. cow. And they're as big as a five foot rattlesnake. Let's just get it up my a little bit. Gosh, and all it is, is you're representing a threat. At those fangs. You see the fangs? So tarantulas, they have these hairs on the back that defensively they'll flick them up. Yeah. And get up your nose and of course that itches and then you're allowed to pick your nose on the set. That's so, the rule. I think that's bonus number six reason why you should love spiders. Yep. You get to pick your nose. Goodbye Big Bob. You scared me, you haunted my nightmares, but no more. Yep. Alright, thank you so much Jules. You're very welcome Phil.